Police say despite the fact it was the middle of the day, it did not stop an out-of-towner from stealing a car in Clearfield County and taking it on a joyride. And Dubois police, though, say that the suspect didn't get too far. Devin Clark tonight, tell us about how the cops tracked him down. Devin? Well, that's right, Marty. He didn't get far at all. In fact, he didn't even leave Clearfield County, but he did leave behind his cell phone. And after a simple phone call from that phone by cops, they were able to identify him as Stephen Gillis and took him into custody. Caught red-handed. What's Dubois coming to? That crime's getting ridiculous, that people are willing to steal cars out of broad daylight. That's exactly what police say 30-year-old Stephen Gillis from Tennessee did right here in Dubois. Surveillance video allegedly shows Gillis busting out several windows of the new 2015 Dodge Dart, then driving out of the Hitchin Post restaurant parking lot on Liberty Boulevard. This all happened before 1 o'clock Wednesday afternoon while the rightful owner was inside grabbing a bite. He just purchased it and came in for lunch, I believe. Um, and the, he, was, he was devastated. Hitchin Post owner Robin Mahalik didn't want her face shown, but she says she is shocked at what her surveillance cameras captured. It's very unusual. I mean, we, we're a, a place to be known to have fun and music and, and bikers and local community, but nothing of crime. The time code on the surveillance video shows the suspect broke the glass, got in the car, turned it on, and left all within five minutes, leaving a trail of broken glass behind him. Police say Gillis also left his cell phone, and after a few simple phone calls from that phone, police identified Gillis as the suspect. Gillis and the car ended up in Lawrence Township, where police pulled him over and busted him for what some are calling a senseless crime. Well, it's broad daylight. Who would do that, you know? And tonight, Gillis, the man from Tennessee, is behind Clearfield County jail bars facing numerous charges, including two felonies for theft. We're live tonight reporting from the Clearfield County Newsroom, Devin Clark, 6 News.